Kansas Governor Laura Kelly's executive order banning mass gatherings in churches. That was overruled by a federal judge granting a temporary restraining order. This does apply for two churches in rural Kansas we've told you about before, but there's still some others not following that order. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling is in Lawrence, where one church continues to hold service. The Heritage Baptist Church here in Lawrence was not part of this lawsuit, but hoping for this resolution. They even put a tent outside to continue to have service that was actually enforced by the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. But because of this decision, they moved services indoors. On a rainy Sunday morning, worship went on as usual inside Heritage Baptist Church in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. As members filed in one after another, a Douglas County Sheriff's deputy circled the building outside. Where we're at in this part of the country, I think that we should be out of churches. So. Not backing down, senior pastor Scott Hanks told 41 Action News the state's ordinance limiting the number of people who can worship and a subsequent lawsuit is a win for worshipers. I am so thankful those two churches did do the lawsuit, but it's not our goal to sue the governor. We just want the governor to follow the Constitution. Heritage Baptist was not part of the lawsuit, but court documents we obtained state First Baptist and Calvary Baptist churches made a substantial showing that development of the current restrictions on religious activities shows religious activities were specifically targeted for more onerous restrictions than comparable secular activities. District Judge John Brooms wrote churches and religious activities appear to have been singled out among essential functions for stricter treatment. Governor Kelly from the beginning said this wasn't about religious liberty, but about stopping the spread of the coronavirus. A statement she released on Sunday said in part, this is not about religion. This is about a public health crisis. This ruling was just a preliminary step. Alliance Defending Freedom represented the two churches and said the legal action could have broader implications. In order to issue this temporary restraining order, the court had to find that our clients have a substantial likelihood of prevailing on the merits. I don't think it's over, unfortunately. I think that this could continue to go on. A hearing for a preliminary injunction is scheduled for April 23rd. Reporting in Lawrence, Nick Starling, 41 Action News. Thank you, Nick. You can read a timeline of the back and forth tied to Governor Kelly's executive order at KSHB.com. And happening rather